folks, it's Joe here from Tango Spice Company in the indoor test kitchen. And uh, I was thinking about cooking a burger this weekend. Not just any burger, but a really special burger. So what we need for that is a special hamburger bun. So we're gonna make some Guinness Tango buns. And uh, just normal hamburger buns with a couple of different ingredients. And maybe on a massive scale too. So a couple of different changes in the ingredients. Of course we use Tango Spice Southwest Sunset along with some Guinness. The Guinness is open because it has to be flat and at room temperature when we use it. I know it's a shame to waste it, but I've got five others. What we're going to have in this uh, little agave nectar, wheat flour, regular flour, got some sugar, olive oil, and some non-diastatic malt powder. Got to have some malt powder in there. Good flavor. Let's throw these buns together, get them cooking when we get that hamburger done. We've got some great burger buns. Let's see how this goes together. So in the bottom of our bowl, and we're going to use a mixing bowl, put two teaspoons of quick yeast and a quarter of a cup of warm water. We'll let that sit for a couple of minutes. So the yeast is sat in there for nine or ten minutes. It already smells yeasty. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to add about two tablespoons of agave nectar. This stuff is excellent. Some recipes call for honey. I like using agave nectar because it's just as sweet. Actually, I think it has a better flavor and it incorporates quicker. It's not so thick. Now I add a quarter cup of olive oil. And then of course, the Guinness. Well, not quite flat, but I think it'll be okay. It's been sitting out for a couple of hours, but Guinness is stout stuff. And add the whole thing. Okay, for this, now we're just going to add a little pinch of sugar. Add a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. I'm going to go with three cups of whole wheat flour. I need about a teaspoon a half a teaspoon of salt. I'll use Southwest Sunset as much as I feel like using. I'm going to use about a teaspoon. This is just going to add a little bit of interesting flavor to the bread. Hey look, there it is. And then the malt powder. We're just going to give this a stir. And get this all incorporated and then I'm going to be lazy I'm going to use the mixer with the dough hook so let me get this thing all uh, put together now after about a minute of turning this around it's incorporated pretty well now we're going to hook it up to the dough hook and give it a whirl I could do it by hand but like I said I'm lazy today so here we are the dough hooks in I'm using the KitchenAid 600 and now we're going to give this thing a spin uh, medium speed, five to seven minutes. We'll just see how it looks. Play it by ear, play it by eye. So, uh, I'm not going to let you listen to this whole thing because it's going to be too loud. So, uh, let's do a pause and a fade, shall we? So, the dough came together really well. You know, I like using the mixer. Sometimes I do use my hands to knead the dough. Maybe next time. It's a hot day. Let the, let the machine do the work. Next, we'll take the dough out of the bowl and put it in this handy dandy plastic bucket, which first we'd line it with this uh, kitchen spray. It's a name spray, so I'd, I'm only going to show you the back. Okay, now we take the uh, dough out of the bowl with this cool scraper. I'll tell you what, between the Guinness and the malt powder, this smells amazing 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 so it's a good dough and uh this will just plop it here in this put a lid on it and let it rise to it's about double the size then we'll split roll it into buns and get ready to bake so that's where we're at so far making those homemade rolls for a really nice hamburger the tango spice bakery well, welcome back. And here we are a couple of hours later. It should have been maybe an hour and a half later, but it's a couple of hours because I got busy doing something else. And uh, 
the dough has risen quite a bit. Not two times, but three times. So we need to split this and start making the roll. And oh, I did find a place to put the other uh, Guinness. Lift you up, red solo cup. So the recipe I was going off said split the dough in half and split each of the halves into six rolls, which would make 12 hamburger buns. I strayed from that and I took one half to make three and the other half to make two because I need a really large hamburger bun, I think. You know, Tango Spice, we love large buns. Those are some big buns. So there you have it, homemade hamburger buns. We have a couple little teeny ones, well, regulation size. A couple of really big ones. I need to make a big hamburger now to go with this. Let's slice one open. looking good. That has a really great aroma. The malt, the Guinness. Oh man, these are really, really good. So, try this recipe. Make yourself a hamburger, put some pulled pork on this. This is a good bun. Thanks for joining Tango Spice on YouTube.